What's going on YouTube? A Soprano here bringing you guys another commentary. Today's commentary is going to be uh, best class setups, uh, the updated version. Uh, I don't have the other ones saved up, uh, my old ones, but you can see the big difference. If you watch this video and you look back to the other video, you can see a lot of my classes changed. I improved and evolved as a player, so I'm using, you know, as you can see, I'm not using that much of a silencer. A lot of these classes don't have silencer except for two of them. Um, then you got like the A94. You got uh, different class setups, EMP grenades that I didn't used to use. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started though. Domination, Demolition, and Hardpoint are the three class setups that I have. Basically, because I play those the most. Those are the three game modes I play the most. Uh, if it's Team Deathmatch, I use the default Domination class. And then for Kill Confirm, I only use this one which is a uh, pretty beast and we'll get started with this one first i use a vector which is a smg that i could run with long barrel that helps it you know act like a assault rifle and i'm using a fast mags and in order for me to get tags fast and i don't slow down you got lightweight added into it and we got extreme conditioning which is great um for kill confirmed i really don't like running too much of a of high kill streak so i run like low ones or maybe uh just uav counter v set to help me win the game so let's move back into the domination one. We have the A94 with fast mags and stock using hardline toughness scavenger and tack mask. And we use the C4 and EMP grenade basically helps us out. Overall, this gun, this class is basically default. A lot of people use this. Some people might take off toughness. Some people might add like flat jacket without the C4 and EMP grenades. But I'll show you guys the rest of my classes that include those. This is basically my default class that I use in you know, team deathmatch or maybe free for all or anything like that. Just because the A94 is really, uh, right now, the best gun in the game, at least for me. EMP grenades help me get more score, help me win more gunfights, and the C4 just helps me when I'm going around corners or if I know the enemy's there, I'll go ahead and throw that out there. Now, this one is basically the same class. Uh, without the fast mags, I just added silencer, and then you have ghost. Ghost just helps you win more gunfights because people are expecting you just because you have... Uh, because they spam UAVs. You'll get a lot of clans or parties. They, they spam a lot of UAVs. It's going to be hard for you to get around because these guys know where you are. Especially if you don't have silencer, it's going to kind of ruin it for you. So you got to you know, you gotta adjust. When you're in a game, you got to be able to adjust. And this is why I have all these same classes just from one game mode. The next one is uh, the Red Dot with the Cap 40 and the EMP grenade. Same perks. And the Red Dot is basically because it's a beast. Uh, when you're playing, you know, in Cove or Yemen, it's going to help you a lot. The accuracy gets better. And if you're just having a bad day with your aim with iron sights, I suggest throw on that reflex sight, just a normal red dot on there, and then you'll start beasting. Your aim will be perfect. You know, you could do a lot of good things with that. And then with the Cat 40, just because you won't be able to win a lot of close gunfights because you have the red dot sight and you tend to strafe around corners, you're gonna not going to be able to hit fire as well. So the Cat 40 is going to help you out a lot. And let's move on to the next one. This one is pretty much the same, except there's no ghost. And this kind of just helps me out. If I'm just running, in, if I'm getting killed because my gun is too loud, I use a silencer and I add it to the reflex sight because it's going to help out with the accuracy. Because of the silencer, the range gets cut off with the red dot. It kind of, you know, balances it out. Now this one's another one. If I want to run, if I'm feeling like the red dot, and I don't have this one doesn't have a red dot, and I want to run the red dot and have ghost. Uh, here's a, basically an example of that class, running ghost and my red dot with my adjustable sock. And this is the MTAR. Just uh, use a different gun for basically if I'm playing and the AE-94 isn't cutting it for me you know not every day you don't you can't just use the AE-94 because it's not gonna feel right every time so the MTAR like some days you have good days with the MTAR some days you'll good, have a good day with AE-94 and this is what basically helps out and just just a default class for the MTAR flat jacket, tech mask, fast mags and stock and the MSMC if I'm rushing, if I'm playing a small map, something that is easy for me to have good accuracy and still be able to rush using the grip to help with the recoil slightly. Fast mag, C4, EMP grenade, you know, you same old stuff from the other classes, just using an SMG. Now here, it's what I'm talking about, adjusting. For the other teams using a lot of grenades, C4s, you got to use flat jacket. Flat jacket will help you out. 
you will lose a lot of gun like a lot of times with people throw a c4 directly at you you still die it call of duty logic you can't really do anything about it you know it's the game same thing with rpg sometimes you'll die from it sometimes you won't you don't know this this game's weird like that and the next thing is the lsat this is basically my tryhard class they start pissing me off i start getting annoyed because i'm losing gunfights to snipers to people with like rpgs this is what i'm going to use this is what's going to help me a lot using dexterity i sometimes switch it around with the c4 and the emp grenade take those off and i'll put tag mask depending on how, how i'm feeling and down here same uh default a94 with the red dot cap 40 and the tag insert as you see in some of my videos i do tag insert in some places it's when i try and try and push up too much i don't want to respond all the way in the back of the map i want to respond in the middle of the map and then keep going all right demolition uh demolition um basically other classes are almost the same i'll go over the different ones but this is a default class for uh, demolition extended max because i'm going to be spawn trapping them it's going to be a lot of them so i don't want to run out of ammo i'm going to need to get triple kills or quads or whatever and then same thing with attack insert i don't want to end up all the way in my spawn it's going to waste time i want to spawn next to them knowing that they're not going to spawn behind me and then the scar h just to try it out different classes scar h is one of the guns i like with the mtar using every the same perks and then using emp grenade then here we go if i want to be silent and these guys are really paying attention to the uav add a silencer add a fast mag because there's going to be a lot of them you're going to run out of ammo quick and you're going to need to you know really react to everybody shooting at you and here's another one this is what helps me get my you know my 10 man feeds eight man feeds when you're trying to get your reaper emblem and you know using the silencer to stock in a quick draw dexterity toughness and hardline you don't need scavenger because if you're going just for kill feeds you really don't need it same thing with the tactical insurgent uh if you're going to keep dying a lot just keep spawning in the same place help you get your feeds then this one is my tryhard class this is my class i use when I'm running support for somebody or if I'm running support for like YouTubers or whatever, you know, you got the assault shield, the target finder, and it's just basically one of those classes that, you know, it's going to stop everybody. Use a riot shield to basically uh, stomp it down and head glitch over and then uh, get your easy kills with the target finder. Then we got uh, another ghost class just in case I'm getting spawn trap myself or if I'm getting uh, found because they're trying to get you know high kills and demolition this is my ghost class same thing with flat jacket these guys are getting crazy spawn trapping me in nuketown and keep throwing c4s this is going to help me god please if they if it helps me because sometimes it doesn't really help and then this is another try hard class same thing with the msmc using the pdw msmc and then the same thing with a shotgun this is if i'm playing the objective for real if i'm trying to cap if i'm trying to win the game uh, the shotgun is going to help you a lot when you're around the bomb or you're trying to plant the bomb. And then lastly, this is just another one that helps me if I'm trying to win the game. I had lightweight to help me run a little bit faster, but not for long. And then you got the fast mags. All right, finally, we got hardpoint. Now, these classes are a little bit different. We got um, the MSMC with flat jacket. Uh, tag mask and extreme conditioning just so we could get to the hard point we don't die from grenades inside the hard point then we got long barrel to help us out with range and then fast max to react quickly then we got vector kind of the same class except we have scavenger on this one we take out those other two perks long barrel to help it feel like an assault rifle emp grenades if they have any tag inserts or any equipment around the hard point type 25 feels like a smg with stock makes it a real good gun hard to stop uh emp this is kind of like if i'm going for a nuclear on a hard point this is another one that's a object a objective like uh using only stock extreme conditioning and lightweight so i could run to the hard point and with the a94 i'll be able to defend it really well this is pretty much the same thing except no emp grenade and i'm using the red dot site for accuracy this i know this one says msmc ghost but it's actually flat jacket i switched it out because uh, I don't really need ghost. Uh, basically, same thing. Fast mag. Uh, kind of like the first one. I don't know why I have two of the same ones. <laughs> and then we got the one with the shotgun. Another objective one. When I'm in the hard point, I want to get easy kills. I want to be able to kill them as soon as they come in. If I run out of ammo, always switch to the MSMC. And then another one. This one is a little bit try hard. Running in with the riot shield. Trying to get the hard point. 
uh, with the C4 flat jacket, extreme conditioning, you don't need a uh, scavenger for the PDW. And then lastly, this one is basically my other nuclear class. This is what I try and get nuclears in hardpoint using just adjustable stock, tack mask, flat jacket, and C4. So hopefully these classes help you out, guys. Hopefully if you try any of them out or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't forget to leave a question in the comment box. Don't forget to leave a like and share. And then finally, one announcement. I know I haven't posted in the last two, three days, but I do want to mention that I'm only going to be uploading Monday through Fridays. On the weekends is going to be when I work on my videos. And then I'll have all five videos ready to go by Monday, all pre-uploaded around 6, 7 in the morning, Central Time. So other than that, you guys have a good one. Hope, hopefully this helps you guys.